Hi friends, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would officially welcome the Christmas season by showing you how to make this beautiful and simple ornament. It's so easy, a beginner can do it. So if you think you'll enjoy it, make sure to keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so to start this beautiful Christmas ornament, you will obviously need some yarn. I am using four colors. This is DK weight. You don't have to use four colors if you don't want to. You can use even more than that or just one color. And obviously, your Christmas ornament. This is an average size and your 4.0 millimeter hook and some scissors nearby. So to first start your ornament or your design, you're going to begin with a magic ring. Wrap the yarn like this on your finger two times and then insert your hook. Grab that second loop, go through the first one, chain one, and then two more. That I'm not going to count as a double crochet. Take off your finger. And now you're going to start making double crochets. It's going to be 12 in total. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, go through, yarn over, go through two loops, and again go through two loops. And that's basically a double crochet. You're going to do 11 more. So now that I have my 12 double crochets, I'm just going to pull on this tail and close that middle really tight. And I'm going to insert my hook in that first double crochet, grab my yarn, go through and do a slip stitch. Chain one and you can cut off your yarn here and pull it up. Now we're going to go into the next round and you can change colors as well. So you're gonna insert your hook in any double crochet. I myself like to do it right next to where I cut my yarn. I'm going to go in with the orange. Okay, go through and now chain two, this chain two, I'm sorry, chain three. This chain three is going to count as a double crochet. And in that same space, you're going to do another double crochet. Okay, two double crochets on the next stitch. Like that and if you are lazy like me and don't like to hide Oriole tails at the end I always like to hide them at the same time or as I go so when you do your stitch make sure that your hook is underneath the tails and then you grab your yarn and do your double crochet and it hides them at the same time So you're going to keep doing this two double crochets per stitch until you reach the beginning again. Okay, this is another round finished. You're going to end up with 24 double crochets and I'm going to slip stitch on that last chain I made. Chain one and cut off your yarn. Okay, the Christmas ornament just wants to roll away from the table. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the next round with the red. And you're going to insert your hook, 
between any two double crochets. I always like to do it nearest to where I ended, like I did at the beginning. So again, attach your yarn, chain three. And for this round, you're gonna do three double crochets. This chain counts as one, so in this case is two. Go into the next space between the groups of two and start making the three double crochets. No chains in between, very important. Okay, so easy as that, you're gonna keep doing three double crochets per space or in between the two double crochets from the previous round until you get here to the beginning again. Okay, this is another round finished and you're gonna end up with 36 double crochets. Again, you're gonna slip stitch on that last chain, chain one and cut off your yarn. Okay, and you're gonna do this round two more times. So from the third, starting from the third to the fifth, you're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna attach my yarn again. I'm gonna go in with this brown color. Chain three. That counts, of course, as a double crochet. Okay, so there's three, and again, on the next space, you're gonna do three. So easy as that, I'm gonna do this round and the next one off camera, and I'll see you there. Okay, so I have finished the fifth round, which is the final round of double crochets, and now I'm just gonna insert my hook in that last chain from the previous round and I'm going to start the final round which is a single crochet round so attach your yarn yet again chain one and single crochet in that same space and you're going to do one single crochet per stitch Okay, like so, you're gonna keep doing this around the, the design and then I'll meet you at the beginning. Okay, so I'm almost finished with that last round. Again, slip stitch on that first single crochet that you did. Chain one and just cut off your yarn. And that is it. Obviously, you're gonna do a second one. So this is the first one. So I'm gonna do the other off camera and then I'll meet you there. Okay, so I have my two halves here of the design. It's gonna look somewhat like this. Okay, but first I'm gonna put it together without the ornament just cause it's more comfortable that way. So it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna insert my hook anywhere. Okay, and I'm gonna attach my yarn. Chain one and slip stitch in that same space. I'm gonna put my tail underneath. Okay, 
and now just slip stitch onto the next Okay, so it's looking like that. You're gonna slip stitch maybe to until half half of it finished. Then I'll show you what to do. Okay, as you can see, I have a little bit more than half completed with my slip stitches. This is the time that if you wanna hide any tails, you can do so with a needle. I myself don't mind it that much because I'm just gonna hide them inside. So now is the time to take your ornament and just put it inside like so. Insert your hook once again. And you're gonna keep doing the same thing you were doing, slip stitches along the edge. The only difference is that now you have the ornament inside. So I'll meet you when I get to the beginning or almost the beginning. Okay, so I have almost completed my slip stitches as you can see. Now I'm just gonna chain one. and cut off my yarn. This little tail I will obviously hide with a needle along the edge, okay? But that is basically it for the Christmas ornament. As you can see, it is pretty easy and pretty quick to do. If you can, you can take it a step further and cut off the little string that it comes with and just attach some yarn at the top in that little hole. Okay, twist it like this. Okay, and just insert it like that. Insert your hook. I'm gonna take the tail and the yarn and do a chain. Okay, now I'm gonna let go of the tail and do 12 chains. Okay, now I'm gonna slip stitch on that first chain I did. It's a little tricky, but I promise it's doable. Chain one, pull tight on the tail. Just gonna cut off my yarn, pull it up, and I just like to do a little knot here with the both both of the tails just to secure it. Okay. Now I'm gonna hide those tails with a needle just so you can see how it looks. Okay, I hit all of my tails, so if you did this extra step, now you have completely finished this Christmas ornament. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas theme video. If you think you enjoyed the rest of my videos, make sure to turn on those notifications and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one.